Hi, this is Dr. Lee from Dr. Smiley. Today we're going to talk about IV sedation. Before we talk about IV sedation, we're going to explore basic sedation levels. Level 1 is nitroxide. It's called laughing gas. At Dr. Smiley, we don't provide laughing gas because it's not really effective towards adults. So, level 2, that's when we start. It's called midazolam, it's a sedative medicine, and then we ask patients to take this medication for 30 to 40 minutes prior to the appointment. Depending on your weight or depending on your medical history or condition, we might give different numbers of pills so that you can be sedated. To make this easy, I always explain to the patient, this one is more like when you're at the bar, you feel like you're tipsy. You got about three cans of beers, three bottles of beer. That's where this one will get you. And now some patients are saying, oh, I'm not really happy about that because I really want to get close to sleep or I want to be put to sleep. At that point, we do have some other option, which is level three sedation, which is called the IV sedation. Basically, that means I inject the catheter, the needle to your hand, and then we make sure that you're properly sedated. Now, a lot of patients ask me, so Dr. Lee, how deep do I go to sleep? Okay, for IV sedation, we still call this conscious sedation, which means you will be able to reply to me when I ask you some question. But now, the difference between level two and level three, now level three, you will hardly respond to me. Think of it as you're almost drunk, and you're really, really going to go home and you cannot even walk straight. You might not even remember what happened the night before. It does exactly the same thing. It causes you to forget what happened during the procedure, which means we can prevent dentophobia. So now we're gonna take a look at what we do for IV sedations. So the most important and common cases are something like this. So whether you're a teenager or whether you're 25 years old or 30 years old, you have heard impacted wisdom teeth hurts. It is true, whoever pulls this tooth, it might hurt because of the complication. But then as the time goes by, it gets better. But during the procedure, you might see that, you know, some people saying they have to cut the gum open, they have to grind the bone, and you're going to feel a lot of pressure. Whenever you're having those kind of issues, that's when level two and level three eye visitation kicks in so that we can make you very comfortable and you don't remember what happened during the procedure so I can provide you best quality dental service. Thank you for watching this video. I hope to talk to you guys soon.